Hey guys, I wasn't entirely sure how I was going to film this because I cannot fit this entire thing in the frame um, where I usually film my swatch videos and everything. So for now, I am on my floor. Um, I caved and I got the entire ColourPop Land collection, the ColourPop and Candyland collaboration. Um, so I wanted to show this to you today and try and not make this video an hour long. The packaging is absolutely adorable. The sides of it all have like sprinkles. Hold on, let's see. I can't lift it up with one hand, so I'm trying to show you. <laughs> it's just all sprinkles and cute. It's got a little ribbon that attaches and holds this up. Uh, it's okay. This is just it's so nostal nostalgic, nostalgic for me because I loved Candyland as a kid. That was, I'm sure a lot of you grew up playing that and it was just one of my favorite things to do as a kid, like when I'd sleep at my grandma's house or have sleepovers with my friends. We loved Candyland. <laughs> so I truly appreciated that they stuck with the, I don't know if this was the original, original artwork, but this is the artwork that was on the game when I was a kid and they have changed it so much since then and it has never been as cool. So the fact that they used the characters that I grew up with and I remember, um, they made all the colors kind of pastel, which I like because the game itself was very colorful, but it was very like, I don't know how to describe it. It was just, it was bold, kind of boring colors. Like you had just a normal purple, a normal green, a normal blue, stuff like that. So I like that it's all pretty and pastel. So I just wanted to show an overview of the packaging because it was packaged really cool. Um, this tray actually comes up. So when that tray lifts out, you have the little um, instruction sheet, how to play the game. I think everybody knows how to play Candyland. It's one of those first games you ever learn how to play. And then it has a full-on game board. Hold on. Can I do this one-handed? All the sprinkles underneath. And it looks exactly like the old school one, just with pastel colors. I absolutely love it. They've got all the original characters. They have Lord Licorice. Um, Jolly the Gummy Guy, Mr. Mint, Princess Lolly, Queen Frostine, King Candy. This, I'm pretty sure he was called something else, but it's called the Milky Swamp. He was like a brown swamp monster in the original thing, and then Grandma Nut. So just super pretty. I'm, gonna, I'm actually excited that I have this because I don't know what happened to my original. Candyland game. I think that my brother still has it, but I've been wanting to play Candyland with Aiden and I haven't bought it because the every time I see it I'm like, oh the artwork is lame. <laughs> so pretty excited that I have this now. Okay, so just real quickly, it comes with game pieces in the pastel colors and then these are the cards. So that's all you need in Candyland are the little game pieces and the cards and the board. So I'm going to go through and swatch everything and talk about everything with you. Um, it comes with the palette, the face milks, the Queen Frostine highlighter, the three blushes, the three lip balms, and then the Princess Lolly lip gloss. So I will be right back in my normal setup to show you guys everything. Okay, so I am back. I'm going to show you the stuff first that doesn't have a lot of need for swatches or anything. Oh shoot, I just ripped the box. So, we have the set of Feelin' Plumpy Face Milk Kit. I have never tried their face milks before. This is technically the fourth Ray Beauty, their sister company that sells all the skincare and stuff. But we have watermelon, papaya, and coconut face milks. And from what I understand, these are like just light moisturizers. Excuse me. They all smell really good. So you have, the watermelon one is pink. Smells just like watermelon. It's got little watermelons all over the container. These are, I can't, these feel like glass 
uh, bottles here. Then we have papaya with little papayas all over it. And then coconut with coconuts on it. And this one's just white. And they have a nice little dropper type thing. A curved dropper, which, oops, <laughs> if I was in frame that would help. Um, it's a curved dropper, which makes it easier to just drop it right onto your face. But I am excited to use these. Haven't tried them out yet, but I will give them a go. It was kind of cool that they included like a face product like this in the collection. Okay, and then we have the Princess Lolly lip gloss. This was one of the things I was most excited about in this collection because they just this whole rollerball lip gloss reminds me of the lip smackers ones that they had when I was a kid. I don't they might still make the lip smackers ones, but I remember always getting the cherry one because I just loved cherry everything and it's got a nice like heavy duty metal roller so it's heavy enough that it makes it easy to roll. Sometimes when these types of products have a plastic roller ball, it's hard to get the product out, but this smells amazing. It's supposed to be lollipop scented. It smells like a raspberry, strawberry type thing to me. And it's just, it glides really smoothly. There's nothing to show you because it's just a clear gloss, but it's nice and shiny. Hopefully you can see there. And it's just, again, very nostalgic for me because it reminds me of those lip smacker glosses from when I was a kid. <coughs> then we've got... the lip balms with Mr. Mint on them. And these are called Glowing Lip Balms. They're all kind of similar in color. They don't give a lot of color payoff. They're just nice, light lip balms. This one is called Mr. Mint. It's kind of like an orangey shade. See, not a lot of color, just a little bit of a tint. These smell like chocolate mint. I don't know if they're supposed to smell chocolatey, but to me they are maybe vanilla mint. Not so much chocolatey. This one is called Let's Chill. But definitely not just straight peppermint. It's got like a vanilla to it and little candy canes all over the packaging. Super cute. This one is a kind of like a medium pink. That's what that one looks like. They smell really good. And then the last one is called Peppermint Frost. And that one is a lighter pink. So that one's definitely the one with the least amount of color. The orange has a bit of a tint, the bright pink has a bit of a tint, and that one's just very, very light. So I definitely like the formula of these so far. They glide on really well, they're not sticky, they make your lips feel smooth, they're very... But the blushes, which are the Super Shock Cheek Formula, these all have the little gumdrop guy. Um, so this one is Gumdrop Pass. Let me get them out of the boxes first. When I first got them and looked at them, they all looked very similar in this packaging. They probably do on camera too, but once you see that they got like color swirl in them and everything, they're much different. Um, I have to get a makeup wipe to wipe off my hand. I'll watch everything for you. So this one is called Gumdrop Pass and it is kind of like a mauve color. It's got some very light pink shimmery marbleization in there and then little bits of purple. And these smell so good. I'm not sure, I guess they're supposed to be gumdrop scented. Let me just double check. Yes, these are gumdrop scented, but they smell like 
just a fruity gummy candy. Really, really yummy. So let's try and get all the colors in the swatch here. So this just comes out like a nice shimmery light mauve blush. I really like the formula of the Super Shock cheeks. Um, because they're, they pretty much just turn to powder once you apply them. This one is called Jolly. And this is more of a coral with kind of a gold shimmer effect through it. And then it's also got some tan and some brighter coral in there. But it's just all marbleized. Let me grab some of that. That is a really pretty everyday color if you're going for like a brighter cheek. Slight bit of shimmer, but not too much. Nothing overpowering. They smell so good. I cannot stress how good these smell. <laughs> I was amazed when I opened them up and sniffed them. And then the last one here is Gummy More. And this one is a little bit of a deeper pink. It's got some more of that... Well, this one's not really gold. This one's got like a champagne marbling in it. And... This one is probably the lightest of the three. Hopefully you can see that. Yes. So, lightest, medium, darkest out of all of them. And that is the Queen Frostine highlighter. So the packaging is in like this big old school, reminds me of the uh, like the Cody powder that everybody's grandma used to have, or probably still has, I know they still make that stuff, comes with a cute powder puff. It's blue, and you can probably see some of the color on there, but it comes in this big shaker container, and it is super sparkly. This is scented to, um, let me see, <clears throat> It's called Pixie Puff Highlighter. Um, it is a shimmery champagne highlighter and it is supposed to be scented in cupcake frosting. To me, it smells like vanilla baby powder. Like, it has a bit of a perfumey scent to it, but it still smells really good. So this is like, I guess you could use it on your face too, but since it has this puff, it's more of a body powder. And let me see, I'm trying to figure out where I should swatch it so you can see. I'm just going to put it all over my palm. See, it gives you a nice sparkle. This is nice for like on the cheek, uh, the cheekbones, the collarbones, your shoulders, anywhere that you would put like a shimmer. But of course you can go in there with a brush and use it on your face too. But I thought this was really pretty. It's like, it's got shimmer to it without being obnoxiously sparkly, like you're not putting straight up glitter all over your face or all over your skin um so that's really cute too and it's got queen frosting on there and it had really strong stickers holding the lid on so it kind of ripped it there that's upsetting but it's just like a cardboard packaging so and then we have the star of the collection which is the candy castle palette um this is the box so let me get it open and just wipe this glitter glittery sparkle off my hand and everything get this off of here take my watch off okay <clears throat> so this is a little bit of a different shape of a uh, palette for them because I don't think they've ever done this size before or I could be wrong but I don't remember them at all having a palette like this it is a 10 pan palette and it does have a mirror inside with a little ice cream cone and some gumdrops <clears throat> excuse me it's super cute it's got the um, like the cupcake frosting and sprinkles all over it same design as that the whole packaging that it came in let me zoom you in a little bit the pack the palette is very pastel 
At first, when I saw like the first pictures come out online of it, I wasn't crazy about the color scheme. Um, it reminds me a lot of one of the Dose of Colors palettes. They had like an... Oh, maybe it wasn't that one. Oh, hold on. This For some reason I was thinking of this palette. The ice cream palette. But I know that maybe it... So it reminds me of a cross between that Dose of Colors palette I just showed you and the Dom Dominique one that just came out, uh, the Latte 2 eyeshadow palette. I think it's definitely more similar to this one than the Dose of Colors, but good similar colors. But once I started playing with it, I really liked it. Um, I'm glad that they included darker colors in here because if it was an all pastel palette, I don't think I would get much use out of it at all. I'm not one to use just pastels on my eyes unless I'm doing like a look for Easter or something. So the fact that this is really wearable while still having those cute pastel colors like the Candyland Rainbow Trail and Cravings colors, super pretty. Also this palette smells like vanilla to me and I don't know if that's supposed to be scented but it does smell like vanilla. Because it's ice cream scented but the shadows smell like vanilla to me so vanilla ice cream. Um, so let's get swatching this. There are a lot of mattes and then matte bases with glitter in them so Keep that in mind. Candyland is a matte baby pink and it's got silver micro sparkles in it. They love doing those sparkles. But as far as like matte pastels go, they're really awesomely pigmented. A lot of the time matte pastels can be very very patchy. Um, Sugar High. This is a metallic vanilla color. Has a little bit of like a gold sheen to it when it hits the light. And then we've got Cravings, that is a matte pastel yellow with that same silver micro sparkle in it. Not as pigmented as the pink, but it's not terrible. Sorry, I should have painted my nails, they're starting to chip. King Candy is a matte pinky peach. That one's really nicely pigmented. And then Lord Licorice is a matte pale tan color. That one's like insanely pigmented. So that's the first row. Very pretty light colors. <clears throat> and then the bottom row we have the darker shades. Um, Grandma Nut is a matte blush pink. That one's very pigmented. Plumpy is a shimmery light purple. Oops, sorry, it was out of focus. Rainbow Trail is a matte mint green with that silver micro sparkle in there again. That one is not patchy at all, but it just needs to be built up a little bit. And then Candy Crush. This is a matte mauve beige base with the silver micro sparkle in there again. I'm hoping that it's showing up good on the camera. That's a good crease color. Um, and then Gloppy. This is a dark brown with gold and copper micro sparkles in there. So lots of sparkle in this palette. Very pretty. So there you have it. And these smell so good I can even smell it on my hands. Like it just smells like vanilla when you sniff them. <laughs> but everything in here smells awesome. More importantly, they work amazing. Um, I haven't had a chance, like I said, to play with the face milks yet, but I'm excited to use those. Everything else I have played around with on my face, so I really like the palette. I really like the blushes. Um, the lip balms make your lips super soft. The lip gloss glides on and isn't sticky or anything. I think I already mentioned that. 
I'm just super excited with this, super excited about this collection and glad that they came out with this um, and that I was able to grab one of the, the big sets before they sold out. But um, the stuff that is still available is on the ColourPop website. Some of it sold out, but I'm sure that they will restock everything at a later date. They usually do. Um, the If you want, just the eyeshadow palette is 18, and I know that's still in stock. So that was the, the big thing from the collection everybody seemed to be excited about. But I had to pick a favorite thing. It's probably a tie between the eyeshadow palette and the lip gloss because just the colors in here are beautiful and the lip gloss just smells amazing feels amazing on your lips it's just it's hard for me to pick because I love this entire collection I was super excited about it and it did not disappoint that was the best part there was nothing that I got and was like oh, I'm kind of pissed that I bought this entire set but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this I tried to not make this an hour long I'm sure in editing it'll be even less than what I'm seeing on the screen right now, which is about a half an hour. But um, yeah, I will talk to you guys in my next video.